A Bemidji man is in custody today after triggering a code red alert in the city last night. After a 20 minute standoff with police, Jordan Nubby was arrested. According to the criminal complaint, officers responded to a call on the, uh, on the 1000 block of East Avenue Northeast after Nubby's mother called authorities and said that her son was standing outside of her house with a handgun. When officers arrived at the house, they found that had, Nubby had left the property, triggering a code red alert. Officers located a set of footprints which led them to a gazebo at a nearby residence. The criminal complaint states that officers asked Nubby to show them his hands, but he would not comply. In a press release from Bemidji, the Bemidji Police Department, Nubby told officers that he could get off a few shots before they could shoot him. When SWAT members arrived on the scene, they shot Nubby with less than lethal shotgun rounds. Bemidji Police Chief Mike Maston says the code red alert issue worked well for the dangerous situation. And this was a very dangerous situation and we didn't want the general public to uh, not know that this was occurring potentially in their neighborhood and, uh, you know, increase the risk that may, maybe them walking to their car, they encounter this person or walking into the garage not knowing what that noise was. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted them to call us first before they went and investigated themselves. Nubby was taken by ambulance to Sanford Hospital for evaluation before being taken to the Beltrami County Jail. In a statement given to officers, Nubby admitted to having a gun and firing around outside his mom's home. Nubby is charged with one count of felon in possession of a firearm, one charge of reckless discharge of a firearm within a municipality, and one count of obstructing the legal process. Nubby is being held without bail on charges of a probation violation. His bail for the new charges is set at $50,000 without conditions and $30,000 with conditions. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.